Here it is, the future truck 2025 from Daimler. Thanks to a so-called highway pilot, this truck drives autonomously on the freeway. The concept vehicle gives a technologically accurate idea about commercial trucking of tomorrow. The aerodynamic design and modern LED lighting that replaces conventional headlights bring the face of this concept vehicle to life. It convincingly combines functionality, efficiency, and emotion. Comparable to an autopilot in a plane, the radar sensors and dual camera system of the highway pilot makes autonomous driving possible without relying on other vehicles or any kind of guiding infrastructure. This highly intelligent system relieves the driver from tedious driving as he gains time for other tasks and communication. The intelligent highway pilot reacts to a wide range of traffic situations, such as moving over for approaching emergency vehicles. In spite of all this sophisticated technology, it is the driver who remains in charge, and in no way will the highway pilot replace the driver. It simply makes this job easier while increasing the overall safety. Because this um, truck basically drives in an environment where driving is boring, monotonous, not very exciting, uh, the highway pilot takes over and uh, it never gets tired. It's always 100% sharp. It's never angry. It's never distracted. So uh, this is a much safer system. Due to this increased safety, lower fuel consumption and overall reduction of costs, the future truck 2025 fundamentally changes commercial traffic, the job of the truck driver, and the business of commercial trucking. But the question remains, when will you see this truck on the road near you? Obviously, the biggest part for us is to get legislation ready and get an, uh, a legal environment that allows us to do, that, to do so. As you know, in Europe, um, uh, it's right now illegal to drive these vehicles in, in public roads. Uh, we have some states in the United States that already allow that. So in US, we can, in, in Arizona, for example, in Nevada, for example, we can already drive these trucks today. And it, base, it comes up to who is going to be first. So wherever we're going to have the legal environment that we need, we will introduce that technology.